This pond I rode around has recently been shut down for toxic pollution. Shutting down swimming lakes has been a strong trend in this country. What are some of the reasons that they get shut down? There are many possibilities to consider if you brainstorm an issue like this. Global warming, car pollution, human feces, goose poop, pub, ultraviolet light, stagnant water, swamp monster. I think there is a more sinister factor to be concerned with that most people ignore. The problem has to do with mining natural resources. For a few generations we have extracted all metals from large tracts of land. Extracted metals get used for things but don't help the environment, but ourselves instead. For example, platinum is used to clean car ex exhausts and make them less smoky. That same platinum was being used by nature in its own special way. Another example is aluminum. There was a time when aluminum was very scarce for human consumption. Different methods enhanced our abilities to extract larger quantities of aluminum. Not only that, but just the time value of extraction is increasing every day. For example, if you give people long enough time to dig a hole, they can get pretty deep. The process of extraction from nature has been going on for hundreds of years. Not only have we extracted for a long time now, but we keep improving the methods. Then we trade all those extracted resources between humans in the stock market. Nature doesn't have any buying power, so the resources are kept out of its hooves and paws. We keep trying to clean up the environment, but that seems to involve more extractions of resources. Going back to aluminum, the price has dropped, but the consequence is that the environment is dirtier than ever. If you believe that copper, gold, silver, and aluminum can kill bacteria, then you will understand. Now that the majority of these metals are kept out of nature, we are witnessing the repercussions. There is a serious imbalance in the trade of metals that used to electrify ponds. Only humans have control of them now. Pathogens, bacteria, algae, and other one-celled organisms are taking over the waters in greater number. Normally the copper and other metals would short-circuit those pathogens in higher amounts. But now the imbalances give more bacteria an opportunity to increase in number. Humans are not willing to give back their extracted metals to save the environment. Instead, we look for other solutions, which we know is futile, so we live in denial. What can stop us from extracting gold, silver, and other beneficial metals from the environment? We desire the profit too much to stop. We need to eat, have shelter, and toys. I think as more and more swimming lakes get shut down and very little is naturally safe, we will be too late. It's much more dangerous than ever to drink from a stream like our ancestors did. Our ancestors did not have stronger guts than us. They had more gold in those streams, which is all panned out. More of their water had copper, silver, and aluminum influences in a natural setting. Whether the water was on the surface or underground, it was exposed to electrically charged metals. But we mined it all and put it in the stock market for only human use. Now we are left with bacteria-rich lakes and streams that are thanking us in their own ways. Humans have made a large impact on the bacteria, which supposedly was the first life on Earth.
Thank you.